What's going on, everybody? The question on the table now that the Vikings have completed the NFL draft is, is the door reopened to extending Kirk Cousins? Can you really reopen a door that was never shut in the first place? After 2022, Kirk Cousins, by rights, had his best season of his career, certainly with the Vikings, and asked for a three-year contract extension. Made it clear that he wants to retire with the Minnesota Vikings, and ultimately, after they said no and only offered him a one-year extension, offered to take less than market value in order to secure his three years. Vikings stood firm and said, no, we only want you for one more year. That has led to an impasse. Doesn't mean the door was closed. Doesn't mean the offers were rescinded. Just means that they were at an impasse. After not being able to trade up for an Anthony Richardson, the Vikings took Jared Hall in the fifth round of the draft. What does that change? Really nothing. All they really did was what every team should be doing every year, which is taking a quarterback to see if one will stick. Odds are a fifth round draft pick has about a 50-50 shot of just being a backup quarterback at best. Odds are at about 20% that they end up being a solid journeyman quarterback, 5% that they actually end up being a starter, and 2% that they end up being a franchise quarterback. So taking Jared Hall, as much as I like the kid and as much as I like what I see from him and what tools he has and ultimately what I think is a very coachable player, this doesn't change anything from the Kirk Cousins standpoint. The Vikings could announce tomorrow that they signed Kirk Cousins to a one-year contract extension and it would have just simply been, well, we had our offer, he had his offer, and time has come and gone, and he's accepted our one-year offer. Does it change anything based on what the results of the draft were? Not really. The Vikings have made it clear that they want him as their starter in 2023 and would like to have the option of him being the starter in 2024. If ultimately, Jaron Hall shocks the world and overtakes Kirk Cousins the way Russell Wilson did when he was a rookie, now you've got a really expensive backup quarterback in Kirk Cousins. Highly unlikely. Would I love to see it? Yes. But it's highly unlikely. You give Jaron Hall a year to develop, and if he's ready to take over in 2024, just remember that if Kirk Cousins walks because he has void years, he does not qualify for any compensatory picks. So yes, the Vikings would love to have him sign for one more year so that they have the option of either having him go again in 2024 or trading him and getting some value in return. While I would just like the 2023 season to be Kirk Cousins last and ultimately move on from him one way or the other, whether it's with Jaron Hall or drafting a rookie next season, I could live with a one-year contract extension. I could not, however, live with another three-year contract extension where we're just repeating this cycle once again. Last week, it was an utter shock that Justin Jefferson's fifth-year option was picked up. No, not really. Well, what was equally unsurprising was that Jalen Rager's fifth-year option was not picked up by the Vikings yesterday. No real shock here with the drafting of Jordan Addison and the hopeful emergence of Jalen Naylor. This would appear to be Rager's last season with the Vikings, assuming he makes it out of training camp at all. The NFL draft has come and gone, and Dalvin Cook, Zadarius Smith, and Daniil Hunter are still property of the Minnesota Vikings. I'm going to say this one more time about Dalvin Cook. He will not be on this team next year unless he takes a massive pay cut, which would utterly surprise me. And the time has come and gone for Dalvin Cook to be moved off this team. It's probably going to be a post-June 1st designation, which I'm not entirely thrilled by, because that adds another $3.1 million of dead cap hit to 2024. But wazy has been patient with this guy, hoping that he'll be able to get something in return. Kind of reminds me in uh, Star Wars A New Hope when uh, Luke had to sell a speeder to get on the Millennium Falcon. He was really disappointed with how much he got for it. We need to understand that running backs have been devalued and that Delvin Cook, with a $10 million price tag salary-wise, is just not going to command all that much return in a trade. Daniel Hunter is another guy that I said that I would like to return, but at the end of the day, I understand if they move on him from him. But he's the kind of guy where if you just got a fourth-round pick for, I would be massively disappointed. Hopefully, they'll be able to get at least a second-round pick from this guy, or at the very least, maybe extend him for one or two more years, and being able to play in the Brian Flores defense. As far as Adarius Smith goes, I think the ship has sailed there, but somehow, some way, he's still on this team, partially because he had to run his mouth and put on blast on social media that he didn't want to be here, thus killing the Vikings' leverage and getting something for him, and sending him to a place that he might have actually been happy I'd love to see the Vikings pull off a trade with Baltimore Ravens for linebacker Patrick Queen, whose fifth-year option was also not picked up. I'd give up Cook or Zadari Smith for him. And while the idea of putting Dalvin Cook in the same backfield as Lamar Jackson, which would be rather interesting, I don't think Baltimore's going to pay that kind of a price for an aging running back. And I seriously doubt that they're going to be willing to take on a guy who signed with them this time last year and then reneged on the deal before coming to the Vikings. But those are my thoughts. Give me your thoughts. Should the Vikings extend Kirk Cousins? And if so, should it be a one-year deal? Or should they give in and give him another three years and have us do this cycle over again? Or are you ready to move on? Thank you kindly for joining me. And for now, skull to the next episode.